Good morning and welcome to What's Up News Network. Being broadcast from Panama City Beach, Florida, the home of the world's most beautiful beaches. I am Jim Free with Jim Free Realty. Please help me out this morning by looking below the window and punching the red subscribe button. That would help me a lot. There's so much bad news going on around our country that I decided to look for uh, some good news. And I found several good stories, but this one seems to fit the times. Dalen McLee, who happens to be a black man that lives in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, and Jay Hanley, a member of the Uniontown Police Department, who happens to be white, would soon get to know each other. This past weekend, Dalen was in his home when he heard a loud noise and his house shook. He soon discovered that a Uniontown police car had been involved in a collision with another vehicle. The Uniontown police officer was in, on the way to back up another police unit when the collision occurred. Officer Jay Hanley was trapped in the patrol car with serious leg injuries and the car was on fire. Dalen, who has had issues with law enforcement in the past, is credited with saving Officer Hanley's life. The 31-year-old said it wasn't a compl <coughs> complicated decision to help another human being. He went on to say there is value in every human life. We are all children of God and I can't imagine just watching one of my brothers in Christ burn. We are commanded to love our God and to love our neighbor as ourself. Dalen is really the Good Samaritan. Thanks, Dalen, for teaching us all a lesson. We have been through a lot in the Panhandle area in 2005, real estate market being and began to fall with the national economy that was also falling. In 2010, we had the BP oil spill. In 2018, Hurricane Michael came to visit us. In 2020, we've had to deal with side effects of the coronavirus. And it's affected a lot of families in this area. This little story, Jerry and Judy Hawk had sheltered in place for several months during the virus. They had both lost their jobs and were behind on all their bills. I guess spending so much time together in a confined space and with all the financial pressures was just more than their marriage could stand. So Jerry asked for a divorce. I lost track of them after their split. I recently saw Judy on one of the local television stations doing a testimonial for a 25 caliber Beretta Auto Jet Fire Pistol. Judy was telling the announcer how the little Beretta had saved her life. She said after her husband asked for a divorce, their relationship was strained, but they were still civil toward each other. So they decided to meet at St. Andrews State Park to discuss how to divide their assets. They were walking near Alligator Lake when a 10-foot angry alligator confronted them. Judy said, luckily I had my little jet fire with me, and with one well-placed shot, I was able to make it safely to my car. The announcer said, do you mean that you were able to stop a 10-foot alligator with a little 25 caliber pistol? Judy said, oh no, I didn't shoot the alligator, I shot Jerry in the knee. Thank you for watching and giving me some of your valuable time. Until we meet again, may God continue to bless you and this great country.